BT and Little Nas situation. I try to avoid speaking about this shit because it seemed like in the world today we're not allowed to talk about anything subjectively, even if we're being respectful. Let me wait till the plane leaves right quick. Just waiting for a plane lie. So it's, it's a plane on top. It's look like it's crashing and everything. Hold on. You got BET and little Nas situation. Look. This is an educational purpose based video and it's just being truthfully and I'm speaking truthfully on it but I'm being respectful. We don't target no individuals over here and we don't judge you on your gender, your sexual orientation. We don't do that over here. We respect everybody, dear YouTube team. I'm making this video because it's a subject for an educational purpose video. That's it, YouTube. Shout out to YouTube. Now the little Nas and BET thing, let me tell you why people are really bothered and upset. It has nothing to do with their so-called agenda that they got going on. I'm not gonna even say the word because I'm nervous to say the G word. Now the G situation that they got going on, it's always been in the society. I mean, you can go back hundreds of years ago to even a thousand years ago, people have always explored their sexual orientations like that. We, it don't mean we approve of it, you know what I'm saying? But we know it's a world that already accepted it. Don't mean we're part of it and we do that. So it's not that when somebody criticized BET and Little Nas that we're foundedly and morally and we're so angry against that. No, honestly, I don't pay attention to that. I go and do what I got to do. And it's not my general belief we should be like that. But I don't make whole subjects about it, wrong or right. My cousin is actually like that. I love him more than anything in the world. I love my cousin to death. He floats in a particular way and I, I don't get into that. The whole purpose of the little Nas and BT situation, you guys have a double standard and at the same time, you're forcing people upon something that should be, uh, you say it's in everybody. You say people are born this way. That's what y'all saying to me. Oh, this the way motherfuckers out here are being born. Then let people be born that way. Why are you forcing people towards this agenda? Why are you making people be this way? And not only that, you're bullying. You're, I call it bullying. You got a general population in this society that's bullying people who are, who are heterosexual. And it's not fair. Little Mama has a movement going on and it's for heterosexual people. My thing is, all my life I've always seen people who float that way, who are G's educational purpose I, i'm scared look i'm nervous you can tell we have a mess up fucked up society i can't even say the g word without getting scared it's offending somebody so i am practicing prop proper uh, uh, uh youtube guidelines right now and i'm still fucking nervous that tells you the agenda that's being pushed strong here i got kids who watch certain television shows and you guys are right if you're like well you need to watch your kids and watch they what they um what they watch but here's the problem Everything my kids watch now is pushing this particular agenda. It don't matter if it's cartoons, family TV shows, everything. Why are you going out your way to push something that you claim is natural and normal, but you're pushing in a way as if it's a new product that you got to sell to us? You said we all got to be treated equal, right? Why, like if that was a man and a woman that got on that BET stage and started smooching on each other and kissing each other tongue like that, you guys would have so many groups saying that is wrong, it's sexually explicit, everything. But this whole society is messed up. You got, you got Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B damn near grinding, groping each other on the stage, national stage at that, Na a, a stage that I seen dudes, Paul Pierce getting fired. For having women that who, who who have that occupation of being strippers paid his own money for it he's the worst thing on earth he's fired he loses his job there's no outcry there's there's nothing nobody hates little nas when little nas came out and said he was what he was i was like that song old town road is still lit it doesn't change the fact he has a hit song out here he, he could be his own man i'm not god i'm not here to judge go be who you want to be but ever since he came out educational purpose it's like he's overly doing what he supposedly naturally supposed to be, wrong or right. Because I'm being told to be a G, it's natural, you're born like that. What's up with him acting as if he's an educational purpose whore out here? Giving himself to every, like we get it. You, you part of this community now, little Nas. Look, BET, we get it. But BET being that 
it's not black owned. Now I'm gonna stick to BET instead of Nas right now. Cause it's easy to pinpoint it at little Nas. It's easy for people to try to attack little Nas. And oh, little Nas sexual orientation has disrupted the world. As if little Nas is the first person we know that floats that way. Let's knock it off. You gotta look at the puppet masters. Who's pushing this agenda and forcing everybody to compromise to it and yourself. It's almost like if I'm heterosexual, I'm not allowed to keep quiet about the other group's agendas. Even though I'm not bullying them, I'm not criticizing them, I have to involve myself into it forcefully. Not like, come on, man. Because at one point in time when we were pushing this agenda, I've never made videos about it. I stayed away from everything and just said, morally, that's not what I like morally. And I feel it's in my essence not to be against it, but to stay away from it. So now when people like me stay away from it, you're forcing it on to, to the point I have to turn off the internet. Turn, I already turned off the TV years ago in Iraq, but I have to turn off everything. It's in our books now. It's in everything. No matter what schools you're bringing your kids to, it's in all the public schools now. It's being forced. Why, why does my kids at a certain age have to learn about sexual education? Why do my kids have to learn about sexual education at an adolescent's young age like that? I don't subscribe to that. So now we're being forced in a position to put our kids in private schools. And not just any private schools, religious private schools. And that's just with the, the, the going on with the get along game. Come on, man. Little Nas is probably a beautiful human being. But at the same time, the agendas he's pushing is no different than what heterosexual people are pushing in these secret societies. Big facts. So I always look at the puppet masters. I don't got time to make a hundred videos about Little Nas. Little Nas doesn't bother me at all because I don't know Little Nas. I don't look at him. I don't follow Little Nas. Why should he bother me? I need to look at the people who allow certain things to be displayed. Those are who are bothering me right now. Not your sexual orientation and what you believe in. This is a big enough world for you to believe in like what you like. Big facts. But when it's being forced to people and hands are being put in shackles and we have no say so, that's then there lies the problem. That's a fucking problem, bro. BET is not, why is it called BET, Black Entertainment Television? It's offensive at this point. I've always found BET offensive, even when it was black owned by Mr. Johnson and his wife. Big facts. I didn't like that name. I'm proud and beautiful. I'm, I'm unapologetically proud to be black. Big facts. Y'all see this platform already. But at the same time, I don't need to be looked as a victim. My nigga, it can be known as a black platform without you saying it. That reminds me of that movie. I'm black, y'all. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm black at it, black at it, black, y'all. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm black at it, black at it, and black, y'all. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm like, God damn, we get it, nigga. BET is owned by Viacom years ago. The same company that owns MTV and all that. How can it still be BET? So to be black entertainment television, you have to have some ghetto shit, criminals. You have to, some stereotypical shows and that's what makes it own. The fa I haven't watched the BET awards for the last seven years, I think. The fact that you people get up every day and watch the award show, it's your own fault. Celebrities don't even come on the BET award show. They don't even respect it. Your black celebrities that you guys love so much, they don't like Jay-Z. You won't even catch Jay-Z. I think he only came there once, if even. They don't even like it, but they go to every MTV awards, don't they? So who cares what a little Nas is doing? I have nothing against little Nas. I, I, Cause I don't worry about what another man and woman is doing, but I have everything against corporations that are established out here to affect my kids and how they live. And yes, I do. And you can't keep saying anymore, just keep your kids away from the, bro, I tried, I tried. I mean, even the cartoons are pushing this, like Jesus. I don't get up on this TV every day and tell you about the girl I just smashed yesterday. Or did I tongue kiss my wife today? Now it has to be everywhere. So do you guys want the camera in the bedroom as well? I mean, we're literally living in a real life open fans way of life. People criticizing OnlyFans, this whole life is OnlyFans now. When you walk, talk, and breathe is OnlyFans. Now they replace God with OnlyFans. When you take the most high God and turn him into a man, and then you take man and turn him into the most high God, of course you're going to have a confusion, man. It's a whole fucked up world of confusion out here. I'm not going to be fake and lie to y'all. I'm going I'm to I'm do a Kendrick Perkins. I don't want to get fired by YouTube, so I could have went deeper on this than what I wanted to, because some of y'all probably going, bless one, is this, is that. Fall the fuck back. I know what it is, 
But unfortunately, you don't fucking own YouTube. If you own YouTube, I would speak more deeper on it. But YouTube is owned by certain entities of group. Nobody has ever talked to any human being on YouTube besides algorithms and an email that probably takes weeks to even come in. Big facts, if even at that. So I'm not trying to hear somebody tell me it's really this. It's really that, bro. I'm scared of this shit, the world we live in. I can't talk about anything, if you know what I mean. Hold on, it's a bee here. I'm gonna smack this bee, y'all. If it comes around me again, I'm gonna smack it. <laughs> you see how the devil playing tricks on me, right? The devil is real, man, but look, man, whatever your sexual orientation is, man, salute to you, man. I love and respect everybody here in the Osmo Hip Hop platform. What I don't rock with, it's a go get along group that's here to destroy what we established found foundly and mentally for the amounts of probably 30,000 years or more. And to see it being destroyed right before our eyes and the family structures being destroyed. Let's get that part out the way. There's no more family structures. There's no more TV shows. You can sit there in the centers of your rooms with your kids and sit down there and watch it together because everything now speaks against the family. Look, man, I'm out of here, man. I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Like, share, and comment, and subscribe, man. Quit faking it. Subscribe.